deep inside, we're all longing for love. Love is a word always sought for but seems to be elusive. People have been burnt by love, hurt by love, beaten by love, or all out of love. Too many heartbreaks. Well, as the song goes, yeah, we were born to be alone, but why are we still looking for love? Yeah. Is there a love that will last forever? I guess people are looking for love in the wrong places. You see, it is quite difficult to expect imperfect people to love perfectly. Yet we want a committed love, a truthful love, a forgiving love, a sacrificial love, or even a perfect love. We want to be loved that way. But can we even love others in that manner? When someone fails us or breaks his promise or hurts us big time, how difficult will it be to love that person again? Now let me reverse that question. What if we fail others or hurt them? Can we expect them to love us back? You know, when the Israelites rebelled against God by making an idol, Moses prayed and God relented. And God renews His covenant of love for His people despite their frequent and flagrant rebellion. And this rests entirely on the character of God. Exodus 34 verse 6 says, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. God loves with a steadfast love. Steadfast love or kesed is a word that describes a cluster of words like mercy or compassion, grace, patience, kindness, loyalty, and enduring love. All these in one. And there's not one English word that can completely describe the love that God has for us. And His love is not based on our performance or obedience or faith in Him. He loved us before we are capable of loving Him. His love is based on His covenant promise that He gave us that whether we are faithful to Him or not, He will always love us. And this love is a never-ending, never-failing, unstopping, always and forever kind of love. It is a stubborn kind of love. You simply cannot shake it off. He keeps on pursuing us and never gets tired of loving us. God loves the unlovable. He forgives the unforgivable. He shows mercy to the undeserving. He gives compassion to the weak. He is kind to the rebellious. And if you failed or are trapped and broken by sin or have been hurt because of the sins of others, God wants to extend His steadfast love to you. You don't need to earn it. All you have to do is to open your heart to receive it. Embrace it and thank God for it. Have a great day.